the heroic Bethlehem. There's a lot going on on this fight. For starters, you're going to have the spinners that come down from the ceiling. And after 20 seconds, they will stun you for 25 seconds. The only way to get out of that is either through a trinket, every man for himself, or a bubble. So what you need to do to stop this stun is to taunt them. So you'll need to taunt near flawlessly throughout the fight. Now another ad that spawns are these drones, and they're big ads, and they will consume small ads and get stronger and stronger. To avoid that, you can take a web back up to the top just as they spawn. This will cause them to have no aggro target, and they'll just sit in the corner for the rest of the fight. So on the first set, the third pair of spinners will come out just before your first drone comes out. And what you want to do is find the nearest web, take it, and then while you're on the web going up toward Bethlehem, you can taunt one of the two spinners. Now as Bethlehem casts the first Devastate, you're going to want to go back down through the center web. You'll slowly go down. You'll want to taunt that last spinner as you're going down, get back on the web, and go right back up. This will allow you to avoid the devastate damage and taunt that last spinner, but it'll also get you back up where you need to be because another drone will spawn just after the first pair of the next set of spinners. Now when you get back down you'll already have four adds to deal with, so hopefully you've been tracking them so that you can taunt them in order in which they spawned. Um, this is really hard to do, especially with the timer, so you'll almost invariably get stunned here. And this is where you're going to want to bubble. Um, I have the human racial, so I just use that. But you'll finish taunting off all of them, and then you'll go back up again. Now, if you've made it to this point, you're pretty much home free, because the third set acts exactly like the first set. So there will be another drone that does spawn before this third set and you can wait for the Devastate. You could actually even stay up for the Devastate because uh, with, a, with a small cooldown you'll be able to survive it no problem. But I just went back down and did some more damage to the ad. So here you're just rinsing and repeating. You're taunting the adds as soon as you can see them. Um, you'll get the first four and then a drone will spawn. You'll go up on a web while you taunt the fifth you'll be up top and then when you come back down again just be sure you taunt that sixth one and you're set. Now the fight is really difficult not just because of the timing. If all you had to worry about was the timing it really wouldn't be that bad um, but surviving it is actually pretty difficult. Now there's other ad types you can see the small little spiderlings and those eventually just go off to the drone once a drone spawns and it's um, doesn't have any targets, so they'll just continuously go towards that drone. They aren't really a problem. It's these, uh, I think they're called broodlings, and what they'll do is they'll focus target you, and then they'll come and just explode on you, and they'll leave a pool that deals damage to you, and it'll slow your movement. So with that, you're going to want to use freedom, just get out of that, and really it's just a survival game and then timing these taunts, and if you can do that, if you can manage to survive, you can make it to this last phase. Now you can expect to solo Betalak from 100% because as soon as she comes down she's gonna find some nearby spiders and eat them. And it's pretty unavoidable but it's no big deal because this last phase for Protection Paladin is really very easy. Now she'll continuously gain stacks that increase her damage throughout this last phase and um, she'll also debuff you with this Widow Kiss debuff, which decreases the amount of healing you receive by 10% and it stacks up to 10 and then it'll fall off. And it's not that bad because all you need to do is time cooldowns for when the stacks are really high and then heal yourself up just as the stacks fall off and you should be fine. So eventually the stacks will build up to 50 and then it'll stop and she'll just sit at 50 until you kill her or she kills you. So really this fight, it just revolves around handling the ads correctly in the, the first four, uh, like three phases, I guess you could call them, uh, in between each Devastate. What you do when you're down on the ground, and when you time going back up to the top, 
that's what makes it and breaks it for you. Now for talents I'd go with Speed of Light just to get you back to the web so you can get right back up. Uh, Sacred Shield of course. Unbreakable Spirit just for uh, the increased rate at which you can put up Divine Protection. Um, Holy Avenger is really nice just because it can give you a nice streak of um, Shield of the Righteous and then with those Bastions you can give yourself a nice fat heal. Um, for the last talent here I'd say either Light's Hammer if you want the slows on the adds and I actually killed this fight with Light's Hammer or Execution Sentence for a self heal or some big damage on the spinners. Um, for Glyphs I'd go Alabaster Shield, Focus Shield, Word of Glory all for increased damage. Now those are the talents that I'd recommend for this fight. Okay, because the fight is really tied up in taunting the adds and knowing when to go up and when to go down, I'm just going to do an overview of it. So you're going to taunt the first four spinners that spawn at the start of the fight. The fifth spinner, or the pair, um, the fifth and the sixth, you'll taunt one of them as you go up. You'll wait for the drone to spawn, and then you'll go back down. As you're going back down, you'll taunt the other one and then immediately take that web right back up because a drone will spawn as the spinners sets pairs one and two happen on the next set so then you'll go down and you'll have four to deal with at that time and you'll want to have tracked which one spawned first and you want to taunt them in that order and at some point you're going to have to bubble but when you have taunted the last spinner, you're going to want to take a web right back up, wait for a drone to spawn, and then come back down for the next set. And on the next set, you do just like you did on the first set. You can taunt the first four. On the fifth, you're going to want to taunt it as you're going up, wait for the drone, come back down. As you're coming down, taunt that last spinner. Okay, so hopefully that wasn't too confusing. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out some of my other videos, and good luck um, with Sol and Bethelak. It's a, definitely a challenging fight, and it's good for raid awareness, so have fun.